All right, I'm hitting the streets of Asheville right now. It's about 11.30. I have absolutely no plan for the day. I'm not bringing my phone. So um, I'm just gonna see where the day takes me, you know? Hoping to meet some cool people and just, you know, see what Asheville has to offer. This is my preferred method of traveling. I don't like to have plans. I don't like to have itineraries. Sometimes I don't like to have a phone. <laughs> it just gives you an authentic experience, you know? Um, no guidebooks, no recommendations, just walking, dude. Just walking and see what grabs my attention. The no phone thing, I know it can be a little risky, you know, like for emergencies and whatnot, but uh, what I've done is I've gotten just a piece of paper and a pencil and I've written down the number of my host and my address so I know how to get back roughly. Um, and I know there's a baseball stadium there, so if I get lost, I'll just ask a local, you know, where's the baseball stadium? So, pretty optimistic, as you can tell. So yeah, we're just gonna see where the day takes us. Signs for downtown. That's a good sign, literally. Heard downtown Asheville has a lot of cool stuff, so we'll see, we'll see what's going on. You know, when you don't have your phone, it really does force you to really pay attention to your surroundings. And uh, signs are like the best way to get around. I mean, I know it sounds kind of obvious and trite, but signs, man, they're there for a reason. <laughs> so I just stumbled on this strange sculpture. Um, there's a sign back there that describes what it is. and. Uh, Apparently it's a sculpture made of like an 1850s opera star mounted on the helm of like a slave ship. But she was an abolitionist. And then in the background, there's like whale uh, ribs or something. I don't know, I'm not sure. <laughs> it's pretty strange, but uh, Asheville's weird, man. <laughs> Yo, this thing just started moving. Wow, that's kind of uh, creepy. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know who's controlling it or I'm not really sure what's going on here. <laughs> so I just pulled up to this uh, food truck. Look at this. Look at this. I'm gonna get this. Should I get it? No. Do I need it? No. But it looks... Incredible, I cannot not get that. So when I was giving them my order, uh, I was kind of talking to them and asking them what's best here. And she told me to get the uh, macaroni and cheese with the brisket in it. Bruh. Ooh. Look at that. That is beautiful. Oh baby. Oh baby. Oh. Well, this is my breakfast. I'm eating mac and cheese and meat and spicy sauce. Woo, it's gonna be a good day. <laughs> All right, let's try it out. You know, you wanna get a little bit of everything in that first bite. Ooh. Mmm. That mac and cheese is fire. Ooh, man, this brisket is really fucking good. Can you guys see that? Oh my god. The perfect amount of fat just melts in your mouth. Mmm. Mmm. Ooh. Well worth the money. I don't think I'm going to feel very good after this meal, but I think it'll be worth it. Bear's Smokehouse. If you're in Asheville, check it out. Alright, right, it's this man's birthday right here. No, 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 turn that shit. Sorry, sorry, bro. Bob Marley Rastafari. How y'all doing this evening? Happy New Year 2021. I want to say child bless Celestia and my son's birthday. We up in the club with some real love in God's presence, saying one love, one heart unity. 
I want to love you and treat you right. I want to love you every day and every night. We'll be together with a roof right over our head. We'll share the same room. My job blesses me each and every day. All that shit gone. Job bless one love. It's good to be back up from Florida. Ross Man Vibration, KZZY Radio Station. Come you live from Ashby. North Carolina, Ooh. but these are the birthday from my God, son. Happy birthday. One love. It's good to be here, but next time I sing a song, do me a favor. <laughs> Come sing with me. One love. Bless each everyone. Child bless. That was beautiful, man. Yeah. You do radio? Have you done radio before? Damn, <laughs> man. Y'all chill on this block every day or like... It seems like almost like a party, you know? <laughs> well, it's my little homie's birthday, so oh, okay, it's okay, nice. Nice, but, nice. like, this our hood. You know what yeah. I'm saying? Like, <laughs> shit, we do what we do. We ain't fuck with nobody. We ain't hurt nobody. I do advocacy work, man. I done did organizing with a lot of folks. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Like Black like, Lives Matter, shit like that? Black Lives Matter, the Fight for 15. What's that? Uh, well, we was trying to get the minimum wage out of $15 an hour. Oh, nice. And hey, it's working, dude. Yeah, it's working. We got 20 states now. <laughs> oh, really? Yeah, it's 20 states. I think it's 20 states. Damn, bro. Last I can might be more. I hope it is more. What do you do for them? Just like social media stuff or? No, I was like, we had like a whole group several years ago and we was taking trips to different places. Yeah. And uh, Atlanta, Chicago, Detroit, you know. Just having just meetings. And, yeah, Atlanta, yeah. we was having conferences. Shit. <laughs> you still working these days? Are you? Uh, I ain't working right now, I'm just. Yeah. So laid back chilling. Yo, yo, I'm here with Jamal and Angel. Hi. One love to everyone. Jamal's uh, been fundraising, right? Fundraising yes, in Nashville. Yes, with St. Jude's, kids yeah. with cancer, sickle cell, diabetes, music, radio station. Come here. <laughs> this is for the radio station. You used to own it. That's Craig, my best friend. Sorry, everyone. But doing the streets in the school for kids to go back and study how to learn school, education is the knowledge from God Almighty. But the most thing is to love your neighbor as you love yourself and be blessed. And that virus ain't real. It's, it's a fake-ass thing because God don't curse his children. Don't drink a lot of that water unless you boil it and then drink those. Whatever they put in your water is like mind control. But anyways, I want to uh, say... Like the fluoride? Yeah, the fluoride. You already know that. Say that again, they hear you. The fluoride is mind control. Yes. What does the fluoride do? It makes your... you weak and mind control of something that will make you have a dream that makes you feel like you're in it to lock you to sell your soul and you die in your sleep. But anyways, can I say this to everyone on Valentine's Day? February the 4th with my brother and, and my queen. He say, he say one love, one heart, one unity brings blessings from above. One balance say, I can love you as I love myself from heaven to heaven in the presence of God Almighty. So love your neighbor as you love yourself. If you ain't got time to read Psalm 27, then you can say hello to me every day you look in the mirror. I am that I am. Happy New Year, one love. KZZY coming you live from North Carolina Bavar, but I'm in Asheville right now saying, oop, there it is. Child bless, one love. That was a lot. I'm still kind of processing that. I literally just left. I've never done anything like that. Just sit on the, the corner with some homies and drink beers. <laughs> it was one guy's birthday, so they were all drinking liquor and <laughs> getting pretty rowdy. But then there was another guy who said he owned five clubs and who said Tyler Perry gave him two and a half million dollars to do fundraising at St. Jude. And that virus ain't real. It's, it's a fake ass thing. He said he used to work in radio and he's like a millionaire. And like he said, oh, I own five clubs. And I was like, oh, where? And he, he named 10 cities. <laughs> it's like, okay, well, do you own half a club in each city? Or 
whatever. One guy was fucked up, dude. One guy was like rolling around and could barely walk and stuff, but uh, no one, no one bothered us. And they said they're out there every single day. <laughs> I asked them if the cops bothered them and they said no, like they just roll by and wave. No one cares that they're out there. It's kind of phenomenal that the cops never bother them. Uh, most of the American cities I've been in, public drinking is not cool, especially to the level they were going. I thought they were homeless, but um, no one asked me for money or anything. They were just, we were just hanging, dude. I think I was the only white guy there. I, I just didn't think they would be so inviting, but they're like, yeah, man, come on, hang out. They were cool, man. I really enjoyed that. So the guy that was apparently a millionaire, club owner, fundraiser, entrepreneur, he kept telling me to pull out my camera to like film for some radio station. And he kept introducing me as his producer friend. And now I was producing a song for him. And I had never said a word to him about music. I have no idea where he got that from. Every time I kept trying to leave, he kept saying, no, 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 you have to stay and you're gonna film this. And you know, we're gonna film something for the radio station. So that's why there's all that random footage of me just like awkwardly holding the camera while he does his spiel. <laughs> So I just got a tip about a hot sauce store that gives you free samples. I love hot sauce and I love free shit. So we're gonna go. We're almost here. Looks like it's called the Pepper Palace. Pepper Palace. Looks halfway decent. Let's give it a shot. Look at how massive this store is. Homeboy here said they make all their own sauces. Is that right? That is right. That's awesome. We really work the hell out of our kitchen. And you can sample every sauce in the store, right? Yep. It's amazing. Yeah, check out the sample bar. A couple of stuff you gotta sign a waiver for, but... You have to much sign much a waiver for some of this? Yeah. <laughs> we it's actually amazing. make the hottest hot sauce on the planet currently. Really? Is it pepper extract? Uh, yeah, it's an extract base. It's a 7 million Scoville unit extract at the base. Bro. Reapers and scorpions and 7 pot dulos to mellow it out. To mellow it out. <laughs> Seven million school. How much is a uh, like a Reaper pepper? It's like 1.7 or something like that. Yeah. Man, the packaging just uh, is not inviting right there. <laughs> wow, that's chapters or stages. Whew. Basically, if you throw up in the store, you have to clean up your throw up. How about right. cleaning up your barf? No matter how uncomfortable it is, you still have to keep your mask up. Oh yeah. Okay. Yeah. Cool. And uh, you're gonna be cycling a lot of stewing in your own juices. I think uh, it's, the it's probably gonna make phrase. it worse. Probably gonna make it the experience a little better for me at least. <laughs> the end. So you want to do the regular end, the hot blanket? Please, yes, okay. six million, not seven million. Okay, this is the hottest sauce they have in the store. It has pepper extract, six million Scoville, like four or five times hotter than a, a Carolina Reaper. It's terrifying. I'm getting scared just thinking about it. But, uh, the extract it. that we use as the base is 1.2 times hotter than military grade pepper spray. Okay. Probably don't need all of that. <laughs> all right. So it's a grower, not a shower. It's gonna take a minute before. It's oh no! I can tell this has. Uh... Oh, this is... <clears throat> Yeah, try not to cough too much. That's how people get bloody noses. The bloody membranes, noses. yeah, the membranes in your sinus cavities are very thin. So if you cough and it goes up into the hole above your, like in the roof of your mouth, it'll get into your sinus and cause you to have a bloody nose. Okay. Seen that a few times. All right. So this is the hottest one. Seven million school. He didn't give me much. Thank God. Yeah, this is, the end is hot and this is the end. Flatline. Flatline. So death. And you said you've never seen someone do both sauces back to back, mm -hmm. like I'm doing. We've only had it out for like three months, so. Oh, it's all right, I'm making history. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> all right. It's like glue. It's not yeah. delicious. Um, I would go ahead and throw those spoons away though before you get that on your fingers. It's like paint or like some kind of adhesive. <laughs> oh, it's getting worse. Yeah. 
You took your mask off. Oh, sorry, sorry. This is what I wanted. Thank you, man. Thanks for hooking me up, Aries. Totally. It's hot, bro. It hurts to talk, but I think I'm gonna survive. I'm glad I didn't have any more. Holy shit, dude. It was hot, dude. It was hot as hell. Yeah, I had to sign a waiver, bro. <laughs> so, Ace, you've been here all your life? Yes, sir, man. I'm, you know, I'm just thugging it. I'm making it. Hell yeah. Helping the people is the number one thing that's needed. How do you help people, man? Uh, just trying to give them, uplift them from what they're feeling. Trying to make them feel better than what they're feeling. Yeah. Do you find a lot of negativity out here? Like A lot. Yeah, like who? What's going on? Just, a, just people. Yeah, Life. like cops? No, not cops. Because most of the time, whenever you don't do what the cops say, they shoot and kill you. Yeah. <laughs> they don't bother me because I'm respectful. Nice. I know better. You ain't got no winner with them. Yeah. You can argue all day until you're blue in the face. It'll come down to, well, you're going to go to jail. We're going to shoot and kill you and put you in the fucking morgue. Yeah. Oh, yeah, sorry. Yeah, you're, sure. not, you're not on film. Well, I'm filming him. All you're right. not on film. You know that? The thing is, it's, re it's respect and loyalty out here in the street. That's what's going to really get you to where you need to be. If people don't respect you and they don't, they don't feel what you're saying, they're going to be And it comes from being a good person and just doing the right thing. Yeah. Maybe when they see us out here, they don't understand how it feels when they have nothing to, yeah. to come from nothing. It's not a sob story. It's just life. I mean, we have to overcome that. It's gonna take a lot of work. And, yeah. But it, so you've 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 like overcome some shit. A lot. Yeah, what have you overcome, yeah. man? Um, like recently, you said you went to prison. Yeah. Unfortunately. Yeah. And I didn't even deserve to go. I didn't hurt nobody. Either. What did they pop you for, if you don't mind me asking? Just this. Just this. Uh, yeah. How long were you in for? Eight years. Man. Damn, bro. I'm sorry, man. I'm not. Because it made me who I am and just made me wake up and realize I needed that. Because if it wouldn't have been for that, I'd be dead. You think Somebody so? Somebody would have killed me, yeah. Cause I was doing too much crazy shit. Yeah. Dang, bro. You know what I mean? Yeah. If you're in the street, you're in the street. There ain't no halfway in, no halfway out. It's yeah. there or you ain't. Yeah. As simple as that. You're gonna be true to your homies, and that's simple as that. If yeah. you ain't, then you prove. Yeah. You chill. So that was my friend Ace. Um, he's been living here his whole life. He did tell me that his mom was kidnapped a few weeks ago. Pretty um, <clears throat> graphic story. He didn't want to share it on camera. So I'll spare you the details, but um, stuff like that is, according to him, stuff like that happens a lot around here. Just crime, you know, drug crimes and kidnappings and robberies and, um, so that was kind of a bummer to hear. But I'm really glad he, he shared that with me. These are the stories that, you know, you're not gonna hear on you know, travel channel or whatever, but these are real people, and uh, I think it's important to give them a platform. I'm not sure if you could tell from the recording, but um, some people were a little hostile to the camera. They didn't want me to be filming. So, you know, there's always that, um, but I'm gonna keep doing my best. So turn on the camera and film real conversations for you guys. I thought today turned out to be a really good day. Um, at the beginning, I had no idea what I was gonna get myself into. Um, no plan, no phone, just a wallet. But it turned out to be a great day, you know? I met a lot of interesting people. Uh, those guys drinking on the side of the road. That <laughs> was pretty fun hanging out with them. <laughs> that was interesting to say the least. Um, the guy that told me he was like a millionaire philanthropist. I talked to a good amount of homeless people now that I think about it. Um, but I'm glad I did, you know? It gave me a different perspective of Asheville. So, that's cool, that's real. But yeah, I thought today was a great day, and there was no planning involved. <laughs> uh, tomorrow, I'm meeting with my friend Taylor. Uh, we don't have anything planned, so we'll see where tomorrow takes us. Uh, thanks for watching, guys. Peace.